our next step will be to compute the loss that we want to use for the gradient descent. So I opened the LMS algorithm over here and you can see that we never really explicitly actually use the loss. We can see it over here but we see that we only really use the derivative here which we don't really explicitly compute but we we'll try to understand this in this exercise. So our task is to compute this loss over here, this is the defi definition, but for a specific ground truth pair. And what this ground truth pair is, we have um, x as a vector and c. Well, it is the combination for one point that we really want to be on this line, and this point is 4, 6. But now we need to convert this into this format. And as you saw before, um, we have this x vector which consists out of um, x0 and x1 in our case. And you saw that, that in order to fit our straight line, equa line equation, we need to make x0 1 always, and x1 is our x coordinate from the point. This is really important at this point here. And then we have our x, uh, sorry, and then we have our c, and our c is what we want the model to produce, which is our y value, this 6 over here. So this is really important to understand, especially the difference between this 4 over here and this vector of x values over here. This will also be relevant for an exercise that we'll do in the lab. Let's now compute this loss over here. So what we can do here with this y of x is we can fill in our model equation. So we get one half times c minus and now this model equation is w0 plus w1 times x or x1 if you want. Let's do it that way. Squared. So yeah, what I omitted here was this one which we had here, but please make sure to really make this distinction of uh, x as a vector and x as a value. Next thing is we can fill in the values of c and x1, 6 and 4. And that's really everything we can do here. I mean, we can um, simplify this a little by resolving the brackets here. 6 minus w0 minus 4 times w1. But that's really all we can do here. The next step will then be uh, deriving the gradient and actually computing the derivatives.